Associate Professor of Medicine and Health Management and Policy. I'm also a research investigator at the VA Center for Clinical Management Research, and I'm also a member of the Cancer Surveillance and Outcomes Research Team, which is an interdisciplinary group of cancer researchers uh, focused on studying and improving the quality of cancer care. In my work, I study um, kind of the broad area of understanding and improving the quality of cancer care, and I do that across the continuum of care, so cancer screening, treatment, survivorship, and even end-of-life care. And I've always been interested in you know, understanding how come some people don't get access to the services that they need and how can we do a better job of getting people into the care that they need. I'm also now interested in studying how come some people get more care than they need and how come we do more testing and treatments and we have overdiagnosis and sometimes we have negative consequences in terms of people's quality of life. So I, I study the issue from both sides. One of the areas that I've been focusing in specifically is developing and testing interventions to kind of improve patient-centered care. That may represent a potential solution to both, you know, helping people understand that they need to get certain services, they need to adhere to care and make sure that they follow through and hopefully um, improve the accessibility of these types of interventions so that patients can have access to them across different points of their care and, and we can see an improvement in their quality of care. One of the real challenges I think that we don't spend enough time thinking about is how to care for kind of the complex patient. So I see this a lot in cancer survivorship where we tend to focus on a cancer survivor and and the issues and, and services that they need to manage their survivorship, but they also may have other conditions that they need to be managing and addressing. Looking at the patient as a whole and trying to figure out better ways of coordinating their care, giving them consistent care, and helping them understand and manage their own care so that they're engaged and involved in their care, I think that's going to be a challenge as we roll out a program like the ACA um, and into the different health systems that we have. The breadth of faculty that are interested in um, health policy and health services research is, is uh, really unique. And I think the collaborative nature of the faculty and the groups that are participating in IHPI is also unique. I notice that a lot when I'm at other institutions. We just have a real collaborative nature and um, I think that makes it possible for people to come together and want to discuss new ideas and come up with innovative projects and solutions um, and questions around health policy. Studying the quality of cancer care has been um, an opportunity to get some information out in front of the public that perhaps uh, people weren't as aware of and IHPI has been helpful for me in doing that. Uh, we did a study looking at um, the rate of double mastectomy in the United States and looked at uh, the rate among women who did not have a clinical indication for it and we found that the rate was higher than you might expect. We were able to um, publish that data and get it out in front of some media channels and I'm also working with IHPI Impact Accelerator to try to do um, more of an op-ed piece on that so we can get it out into the public even more. The way that we approach healthcare really is going to have to change. I think the Affordable Care Act is one step towards that happening. I think people are starting to realize that things like overdiagnosis and overtreatment really do exist. They're not just made up things that researchers talk about and that actually they can have negative impact on patients. And I think unless we do that and we look at patients as a whole and engage them more in their care, uh, that we are not going to see a positive impact either in terms of the quality of the care or the cost of care.